Perfect. If you could just take a couple minutes, kind of introduce yourself, background, uh, you know, what you've been up to, and uh, what your plans are, and then uh, we'll take questions after that. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm Richard Myers once again, and uh, I won the election midstream last year because John Sweeney was appointed prior to the, uh, I should say, in the beginning of Herbie Downs' right. uh, term, and so he he had a run after one year to get an election elected seat. So I ran against him and, and won that seat. Uh, I've lived in Somerset for a little over 12 years now. Um, I lived there with my family of six boys, of well, boys, six to ten, so they're quite a group, yeah. yeah. They're asking me when we're going fishing. Not yeah. <laughs> until after November yeah, 6th. Right. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I got involved in, in Somerset when they tried to outlaw wind power in the town. I'm an advocate for renewable energy, and so when they tried to basically ban all wind power in the town of Somerset. I kind of, mm -hmm. you know, I had been going to the meetings and I, I saw Mr. Shoemaker pull out a little something from under the desk and say, here's that law banning wind house, and you know, that was it. <laughs> so, so I went around and uh, knocked on doors, handed out flyers, telling people that this meeting's going on so they didn't just try to slide it through. And uh, we had a significant turnout. And, and uh, just last week we had a um, a meeting with Empire State Wind Energy. Looks like we're gonna we're getting close to signing a contract with them to put up a wind farm. So and that's a Yale Tower firm. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, anyway, so that's what got me involved. But uh, obviously, there were more issues that we're dealing with up in Somerset than mm -hmm. just right. wind farm. Right. Mm -hmm. We have the you know the pilot issue. We have the anti-business mentality. We have the, uh, the shoemaker issue, obviously, is a big one. Um, so we, you know, we, we clearly have some different viewpoints. We have two paths that, that the residents get to choose from this year. There's, there's every seat is contested, and uh, each seat has one of those two paths in mind. So, you know, people get to choose this year. It's going to, should be an exciting race. Okay, good. Uh... I guess if I could start with the shoemaker issue, I know I'm probably taking someone else's question here, but uh, just that personality, the the um, uh, and, and personnel within Somerset, how come that change hasn't been made yet? As far as well, it's it's kind of an odd phenomenon. We we have the current board members are uh, like uh, um, Randy Wainer had stated in mm -hmm. your paper that. I hate to think where the town of Somerset would be without Ed Shoemaker. And I don't know how there's such a different point of view between, the, from my perspective, for we, we spent $800,000 on, just on Shoemaker right. since January of, of 2005. Right. I'm sure we can get a better attorney for that kind of money. Sure. I mean, just my own personal opinion. Um, and of course, that's over $1.3 total legal spending right. because he he gets other attorneys to help him, you know, he gets all these outside entities to brought in. I would rather first first off, if uh, I think Mr. Shoemaker is an excellent um, municipal term. You know, if we wanted to keep him on as a municipal term, fine. Mm -hmm. But I think just like the school did, just like the county did, if we're dealing with issues that he is not an expert in, let's go get an expert. You know, there's no sense in spending that kind of money on a municipal attorney to fight, you know, such a, a massive lawsuit as, as the ones that we've encountered throughout here. And I, I'm not even positive that we needed to have some of those lawsuits. So. Have you researched what it would cost to, uh, I guess, just get specialized attorneys each time? Something? I mean, have you talked to other well, municipalities? I know the county is looking at, you know, they were having an issue with going up to $90,000 right. to pay the uh, the attorneys out of Buffalo. Mm -hmm. You know, and they are they are specialized tax sure. attorneys and yeah. very good attorneys to talk about. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy, I'd have a big grin on my face if I paid nine thousand. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's that's my issue is, is we could have much better attorneys and not only that but we could have much better results, frankly. So, so there has to be a board change or personnel change? 
this board has proven throughout my term that they have no intention on not only you know holding Mr. Shoemaker to task, but for even putting any restraint on him at all. His bills are not. Re I mean, they look at the bills, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to review the bills. I'm sure you know this, and and I was told flat out no in written form. Um, I wanted to. Uh, um, have a written procedure, billing procedure, mm -hmm. so we would be billed um, with at least some restraint. Right. The board, matter of fact, it was seconded only so they could get a vote on record. That's mm -hmm. what they said. Well, you know, the vote's on record. It was voted down, well, three to one because one of the councilmen wasn't there, but it would have been four to one. So they, they have no interest in restraining Mr. Shoemaker at all. And you said all the seats are up? No, no. Oh, no. Um, but all there's two board seats in my own, okay. and I said all three seats are contested. Oh, okay, gotcha. So people okay. can, you know, get it. Right. Okay. What are you hearing in the community as far as, um, you know, are you finding the same split in the community that, that you see with people running for the board or, you know, or some well, I, anti AES and pro AES? Well, it, it's funny because we see that same split, but it's not a 50 50 split. It's, there's a far greater majority who are just plain old sick of it. You know, they they're sick of lawsuits, they're, they're sick of politics as usual, they're sick of businesses trying to get into Somerset and being told no. I mean, this peer that AES wants to put in is a perfect example. Here we have, you know, a company wants to invest $25 million in a business in our community, and they're already looking for ways to sue them. Because litigation is always the first response of this group. Well, that's that's going to kill our town, and it's just a matter of time before we just collapse on ourselves. We need somebody to get in there and make a difference and make a change, and that's that's why I'm running with the two gentlemen I'm running with to get in there and start making some changes in the town. A letter was in our paper before the primary um, in support of John Twain, along with some candidates in Warrington. I think you must be familiar with the letter. But, you know, some former supervisors signed a letter that basically said, you know, these three candidates, including John Sweeney, um, are, you know, the, the sacrificial lambs or the heroes or whatever being chewed up by the machine and, you know, you must vote for them. Is there a larger power struggle going on in Somerset? Well, I mean, between, you, know, you, know, you know, it's funny because they make it like there is. You know, they say that, um, you know, in with the county and stuff like that. I talked to the county once since the primary. You know, I don't, I rarely talk to the county. I think it's very important that the town has to work with the county. I mean, in, in many aspects, the county Republican committee, the county government, you know, and, and other town governments. I think it's very important. And we have kind of an isolationist attitude out there in Somerset that really is not doing us well, and we need to kind of get over it. But, you know, they have the anti, especially a Republican committee mentality, um, and fr frankly, it's, it's, it's a destructive type of attitude, and, and I don't understand it fully why, why it's that way. Um, but on the other hand, they went to the county Democratic Party for endorsement as Republicans. I, you know, I'm not much as far as politics go, but I find hard to believe that the county Democratic Committee is just going to go, we helped you out, but, but let's just call it a square deal here, you know. I'm sure they're going to want something in, in the long run here. So, you know, there's, there is politics between the town and the county, but from my perspective, I'm, doing, I'm going to do what's right for Somerset, and frankly, I don't care what the county thinks, because uh, the wind power is a perfect example. We're looking to sign a host agreement that will bring significant tax funds to the town of Somerset, not to the county. The county will get some, the school will get some, but it's the town that's my concern. I am the town supervisor, not the county the school anyway. I'm the town supervisor. That is my focus and goal. And 